The theme that we're wanting to focus on today is curating a gallery to send to your clients after you've already done this amazing photo shoot. It's super hot here in San Francisco. For anybody who might be new to this space, um, we're gonna be shooting an elopement engagement style uh, photo shoot that is quite toasty here. Uh, I've done a lot of photography, but I mostly end up on non-wedding events, product, lifestyle, that sort of thing. So this will be a little bit of a new experience to try and you know master a new style. A little unseasonable. We have two really amazing models who will be meeting us downtown in San Francisco. Um, so I thought today would be a really good example to show what we could do to maybe curate a gallery for clients. So I'm going to try and make sure that I have a variety of maybe more romantic style shots, closer up, details, that sort of thing. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and make myself an iced coffee because it's super hot and change out of this hoodie. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this gallery that I went ahead and put together. I actually edited these with the C200 Lifestyle Everyday preset. Um, I felt that really warm, glowy look kind of really emphasized the beautiful lighting that we had this day. And then for the black and white, I went ahead and used the Acros 100 preset that is also within the Lifestyle Everyday preset pack. So let's just scroll through so you can kind of see what the gallery I put together. I am a lifestyle photographer, so I still incorporate a lot of the background into um, a lot of my shots. I just really like that as a personal style. I know a lot of um, engagement and wedding photographers like to have a lot more bokeh, um, depth of field. Um, but for me, I just really love seeing the environment. And I really think with the elopement photography, um, that kind of added an extra maybe fun layer to that. So I'm just going to kind of scroll down and you can kind of see the variety of shots that I have um, between the color, black and white, details, close-ups, wides. Again, I do tend to focus on wide shots. Um, that's just me. Uh, I loved how this turned out. I think this was such a fun shoot. Um, they brought so much personality and they were just amazing at their poses. And I felt like that just really enhanced, um, honestly, my job. <laughs> it was kind of easy. Um, we did a little fun shoot at the end because they are both uh, country line dancers. So they did a little bit of a little fun action shot here uh, in front of City Hall. So I thought that was very cute. So let's scroll back up to the top and let's talk a little bit about the beginning of the shoot and why I chose some of these. Um, and again, I'd love to hear thoughts on what other people do. This is just me, my style and my process. So we have a couple walking shots. I chose a couple in black and white and a couple in color. Uh, for example, this one right over here, this beautiful photo with the light behind them, absolutely adore it. I chose this to be in black and white primarily because I love the light behind them. It was very soft. Um, I was a couple of the shots I did have a lens flare in them, but this one I just thought was super clean, really nice. I love how her hair just kind of flows off her little funny expression here and how he's looking. I just thought the light looked really nice. Um, and I think because of that, I wanted to just focus on the lighting rather than the colors. And so that's why I chose black and white for this photo. And I thought that wound up being quite beautiful. This one, probably one of my favorite shots from the entire photo shoot. Uh, I just love, it's it's so editorial, it's so lifestyle. I know it's maybe not the most uh, romantic <laughs> for elopement, but I absolutely adore this shot so much. Um, and so this one I kept in color because I just loved how the skin tones look so warm, so glowy, the light behind her and the way that the light fell on her veil. I felt like this just had to be in color. Um, and th so that's why I chose to do it um, in this way. And so we took a couple, I gave them a couple different variations. You can see some of these are pretty similar. These two are quite similar. We have a black and white version and a color version. Um, and that's honestly more for maybe a client preference. Um, I wasn't quite sure if maybe they would want to have one that's very similar. I know sometimes photographers will edit the exact same photo in both black and white and color. This one I chose to give just a slight variation. Um, and I think that turned out really nice. And then obviously a couple in landscape as well, because um, clients use this for a variety of different things, maybe social media, maybe framing it. Um, I don't really know. I think it also adds to the curation to have a bunch of different uh, styles. So it's not just all in portrait or landscape, unless that's requested, of course. I love this shot so much as well. They're happy smiles. It's a little bit closer up. So the focus is more here on the face. 
Um, I kept this one just because I thought she looked really nice in this. If I'm being perfectly honest, this one is probably was when she was adjusting her hair. It was more of a lifestyle shot. Um, that's that lifestyle photographer coming out in me that really just wants to um, show movement and editorial, maybe not classic posing, but I just love this. So I kept it in. Um, and that's probably why this one so sweet. I put this in black and white also to have a variety of different styles within um, the already set that we have. Um, but I really loved the way that the colors of her veil is right here, especially it's off to the side, the wind's blowing it just a little bit. And I thought that that looked perfect in black and white. This one, a little bit more funny. We put on the sunglasses to add a little bit of color. They're bright pink. There's greens in the background. That was kind of a no brainer for me to make sure I had a couple of those in color. This one, of course, a little bit closer up, a little goofier. Uh, put that in black and white to just kind of focus on the action rather than the color of the sunglasses. I really like that movement. Um, we had a couple in black and white of him picking her up. I thought that was beautiful. And I gave a variety of that in color as well so that she can have a couple different options. So those are all pretty similar. I did include a couple uh, maybe more detail shot, right, of the glasses, the ring. Um, but a lot of these I really like to do in the wide. So here we have a very fun... Um, he saw a flower, he picked it up, he put it uh, behind her ear, and then afterwards she thought, oh, that might be really cute, let's go ahead and put that um, in the jacket pocket. And so we kind of kept that theme throughout the rest of the shoot. So I wanted to show the storytelling of that, so we have kind of this version of it before, and then I did include a black and white one as well. I just really liked um, how she was framed here. And you can kind of see the focus there, but this one kind of brings the focus, I think, away from the flower, which would be colorful and have that bright pop of color. And I think this one kind of focuses it a little bit more on the story. What is she doing? Um, and so that's why I kept that one. But of course, we need the pop of color on the flower. The flower is very pretty. Um, and so we have just a lovely portrait of them um, hanging out in that beautiful lighting, which I still am so happy about. As we got here closer to City Hall, I of course needed a wide shot of the actual City Hall, right? It says City Hall, you gotta show where you're at. I love this one, it was classic, the wind was blowing her veil. I thought this had to be in color because of those colors of City Hall, like look at that golden look. The preset itself, C200, has a lot of golden tones in it. So I wanted to make sure that that was kind of showing off in there a little bit more. Um, in some of these detail shots, I put these in black and white because I wanted the focus here to be on the ring. I also love this soft light coming in right here. It kind of just added a little bit more uh, focus on maybe a little bit more soft romantic rather than um, just the colors involved. So I thought that was beautiful. Same here. This one's a very uh, sweet forehead kiss. It's a little bit romantic. I wanted the focus to be a little bit more on that and not so much the colors in the background of the trees. Um, I think this one was just a fun editorial style. That's kind of why I put that in black and white because I do have one uh, in color, but that's just for funsies. And then I did incorporate all of the color in these shots of them in front of City Hall dancing, um, primarily because I think the colors her dress was gold and the background was gold and I just thought it worked a whole lot better. There's always so, so much movement in life so I really wanted to focus on that just in general to have that very much colorful light going on. So this is just a very brief overview. Actually that wasn't brief, I talked a lot. But that's just an overview of maybe some of the choices I was making in my head while I was doing that. Um, this is the final gallery. This is might be what I send off to them and say here you go. So now let's kind of do a little bit of a reverse and hop back into Lightroom. I love to kind of focus on a couple of photos and show a little bit of before and after. So you can kind of see why I made some of those choices to make color black and white. Um, and just so I can talk through a little bit more of what that would look like. Okay, so we're in Lightroom here and I'm going to talk through my process a little bit uh, using the actual preset so you can kind of see what that's going to look like. So let's start with this first one. This one was the one that I think I mentioned earlier is one of my favorites. Um, absolutely adore it, love it, beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the preset because like I mentioned, I really wanted to keep this one in color. I love those golden tones in this picture, especially. Honestly, kind of beautiful right off the bat. Um, I'm obviously gonna go ahead and fix the crop a little bit just to you know make sure that we're making this the best. Mm, probably around there. Um, so from there, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lens correction and then auto transform. So I think that just whoop, 
makes everything nice. Um, in the final version, you will notice I actually photoshopped out a lot of this um, kind of weird gunky stuff here and then some of this debris. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video because you probably can guess how to do that. Um, but that's a little bit about, you know, where I'm at with this photo. So I'm going to adjust the exposure just a hair. But honestly, exposure was having a great day today when you have beautiful lighting your life is just 10 times, times easier. And I kind of love the white balance already. I would say maybe it's like a tiny bit magenta. So I might move it over just to like the slightest bit to the greens. It doesn't make a ton of difference. And obviously I might cool it down the tiniest bit, but this is kind of right off the bat why I love this. So before, after, and that was pretty much what the final image looked like, just minus all of the Photoshop cleanup that I did over here. But beautiful photo, super golden, loved it, had such a great time with this light. Um, and you can kind of see why I chose color. <laughs> I just think it really was beautiful. So this next one is a sample of one that I actually put in black and white using the Acros 100 preset. So I went ahead and adjusted the crop as the very first thing here. I wanted to make sure that I kept a decent amount of her body in the frame and also that I got that veil beautiful. I think this is why. So I think it still would have looked great in color. Like if I had gone ahead and applied the same preset, I think it still would have looked really nice. Um, beautiful photo. But because I wanted to really highlight this beautiful veil that has that light coming through that's white, I thought putting this in black and white would really emphasize that. So beautiful. Love it. Not a whole lot that needs to be done. Obviously, we should do our due diligence to do our lens correction, you know, as as we should be doing and then see what auto transform will do um and hope that that looks great but honestly that was quite literally it i think i might up the exposure just a hair because it was a little dark um but that was pretty much it right off the bat so before after loved it i really love i i think the light behind her and behind him right over here added this beautiful softness that I think the black and white really just enhances and kind of keeps that focus on those tones rather than the color version. So beautiful, love it. Um, the next photo I'm going to really quickly go through. This is actually one that um, I put in color, but I actually think uh, I cropped a lot differently um, to be closer in because I really love this little cozy snuggle they had going on right here. So the final image that I provided was a lot closer. And because I just really liked the way that their eyes were just kind of crinkled, they looked like they were cuddling, it was super sweet. So I went ahead and uh, kept that one. Let's try Superior just so that we can kind of see what that looks like. Uh, Superior really orange off the bat. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add in the orange reduction. And I think that's going to help a whole lot. Um, we should do our lens correction as always and then auto transform to see what that looks like. Uh, sometimes I feel like Lightroom's transform does it really well. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't, um, but I'm gonna cool this a little bit and then I'm gonna raise the exposure. Yeah, right there. So beautiful, love it. I think everything works out pretty well with this photo, but this was kind of a sample of when you're curating a gallery um, and if you have the option to choose between closer up, wider shots, even those wider shots where I thought when I was shooting it that it looked beautiful in the wide. But now that I'm looking back and editing, I'm like, you know what, though, this one's super cute. And I think the the romantic look of it just works a whole lot better this way. So before on the colors and after. Um, and I really love that. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of the process, what I go through when I'm thinking about the editing. Um, and I hope you really enjoyed. This time, a coffee. Maybe I should get more coffee. Cut this out. I just want to get my hands dirty on my phone again because I have coffee. <laughs> I was trying to do like a cute lifestyle thing. I don't think that's gonna work out. I don't think that's gonna work out. <laughs>